Hi there everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video on how I fix my iPhone X or iPhone 10. I had a problem where I was uh I hadn't used this for a while, but I kept the battery full. At least I thought it was full. And it was working fine three weeks ago. And I tried to go turn it on after three weeks and it wouldn't work. And when I plugged it in to charge it. I would get the Apple logo come on for a second and turn off and come on for a second and turn off. And when I try to hard, I watch all the YouTube videos that say there's four steps. Try hard st uh, restarting it by pressing the volume up, volume down and holding this for 20 seconds and trying restarting it. I tried all that and then I try to also plug it into my computer. When I plug it into the fast charger I had the iPhone logo at least appear but when I plugged it in to my computer I got no response I tried hard restarting it no response I couldn't connect it to the iTunes to get the codes or anything so that being said I wanted to try something I had a battery replacement kit and actually that was the last thing I would thought it would be I replaced the battery which was very easy on this phone surprisingly it was my first time and it took me maybe 10 minutes and uh, I changed the battery and as you can see it's working now the new battery is charging and there was like that was the problem I looked around YouTube and everywhere everyone said that you have to reset the iPhone back to the factory settings or bring it to Apple if that didn't work even iPhone when I try to hard restart it sometimes it would give me an error saying go to Apple reset up here. So it was giving me a warning to app to do um, reset using iTunes or Apple, but it was not needed. All I had to do was change the battery. So don't trust anything before trying changing battery first. It might be the problem instead of resetting and losing all your data. I hope this helps you guys out. Changing the battery was very easy. It cost me $20, 30 to buy the kit from Amazon took me 10 15 minutes and the only thing i recommend is when you're trying to remove the, the adhesive on the battery try using a heat pad and put it in the back and warm it up that makes it much easier to remove it compared to what you see on youtube where they try to do it with pliers and twist it because that uh, mine snapped right away so it didn't work i hope this works out for you guys good luck